discuss the four variable k maps. For a four variable k map, as you see on the very left top corner, uh, we have two inputs a, b, and c, d, and this is our table. Again, make be careful with this part that one one and one zero, one one and one zero, are not orderly put here. So this is zero one three two same as here. So if you put all the min term numbers here it's gonna be this is 0 because 0 0 0 0 then 1 this is 3 2 and then this is 4 5 7 6 this is 12 13 and 15 14 8, 9, 11, and 10. So these are the min terms. So when you say, let's say, min term 11, that means you're going to put a 1 into that cell. So let's do a simple example. Let's say we have a Carnot map like this. So again we need to look at for for the adjacent terms and as you see here these two are next to each other. You can take these and this is gonna be a is not changing so I'll take A this is 1 then I'm not gonna put the complement here B is changing so B is gonna be eliminated C and D are not changing and they are 0 so this is gonna be C not D not for these two terms as you see they are not really adjacent from here but from here to over here they are adjacent so you can take these terms like this and it's going to give you A is changing this time but B, C and D are not changing since B is 0 it's going to be B naught then C D naught I want you to pay attention here that we didn't really take this one which we could have we didn't take this term the reason that we didn't take this because this doesn't really help us it will just add another term to our function since when we do this we still need to take this one again so we will have to do this again so you need to cover all the ones with the minimum number of circles that's the idea of simplification here is another one this is a now that there are four terms that you can you can combine and another goal is to make bigger circles so instead of taking only two of them you want to take all these fours and all these fours together so you can make your definitions much simpler so this is going to be a and b are not changing it's going to be A not B not since C and D are all changing so we eliminated that so we have only two literal term for this one A is not changing B is changing C is changing and D is not changing again we did not take a term like this which we could have but again it's not going to help us so let's say so these are some examples let's say a uh, more complete example say you have given uh, some min terms that are 0 3 7 11 12 13 and 15 
So this is your function. This means all these min terms are added to each other to make the function. So what we'll do, we'll just transfer this into the table. So I'm just looking from the previous uh, the page on the left. Well, I'm going to put all those numbers here. 0, 3, 7, 11, 12, 13, and 15. So again, the idea is to be able to choose them as many terms as possible at once. So you can see these ones are all together, so I'll take that for sure. And now I have these ones. I can take this one with this one, but then this term is going to be need to be circled. So if I do it this way, I will cover both ones. This one, this doesn't have any adjacent terms, so I have to take it by itself. So this is going to be a naught, b naught, c naught, d naught. So let's write the function. Plus, let's get this term. C and D are not changing, but A and B are changing all, so it's going to be C, D, or this term. A and B are not changing. C is ch not changing, and D are ch is changing. So this is our function.